Taylor grew up in a troubled home. I was only 16 years old and I, I threw me to the streets. He's been in and out of prison since he was a teenager for offences ranging from reckless driving to armed robbery. He had three sons with his wife at the time, Julie, but when he went to jail, she had to raise their children on her own. Yeah? And yeah, my smokes are gone. Oh, you got smokes oh, Are you got serious? More money in there. Yeah. Their oldest son yeah, is calling from you prison. You'll have to buy a packet of smokes off someone, is that what you're saying? Jeffrey regrets not being a better father and husband. Yeah. So what do I do? It's now been two years since Jeffrey got out and one year since the diagnosis that changed his life. His doctor found he had fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, or FASD. There was a reason why I was like that. There was a reason why I was making those poor choices in the course of my life. The neurodisability can affect emotional regulation and an ability to understand consequences. Uh, you can't, you try and explain yourself and he won't comprehend what you're saying. He'll only see what he's saying. Jeffrey was always known as a menace. He was angry at life and resentful of authority. He regrets his life of crime but both he and his family wonder why he wasn't diagnosed earlier. The Inspector of Custodial Services has previously highlighted that WA prisons have inadequate screening processes for cognitive disorders. The Department of Justice says it's working to improve that situation, but across Western Australia, less than half of the state's prisoners have been screened for functional impairment. And that figure is even worse at the state's only juvenile prison. Only a third of inmates have been screened at Bankshire Hill. What's happened in the past doesn't sad me, but what saddens me is the fact that we can change what's happening with these young people around us today. And the ones that don't show sure they've got nothing. <laughs> They're gonna turn into an adult criminal like I am, or was. Jeffrey's diagnosis prompted him to seek help. When Jeff um, had finally come to understand his diagnosis, you know, there was um, something tangible that he could um, understand about his, um, about his life experience. I think I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jeffrey attends counselling sessions like this one. By having that awareness, we can pull it up a lot quicker. It's a safe space for people struggling with substance abuse. I knew that I was going to have a bad day, so... The, the therapeutic approach to helping those at risk is an example of what some are hoping to see more of in prisons. It starts off with us as individuals having empathy towards people that don't have what we might have. What we take for granted, someone else may not have. Uh, Jeffrey says the support he received after his diagnosis has helped him escape a life behind bars. Now he hopes others can too. Jason Ho, ABC News.